hello guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new here uh, welcome to the channel um, we're at uh, Harwood today and uh, we're gonna just go for a, a good walk and then hopefully get some uh, somewhere to camp um, I'll take you guys along with us um, just a big shout out to uh, to Lundy's Outdoor Stroke Bashcraft um, I've just met him today top bloke um, so. So I'm looking for a hammock camp tonight. I think uh, that's going to be my best, my best option. Nice, uh, nice forest, plenty of places for us to, to set up a hammock, and uh, it's relatively straightforward. But if not, we'll find somewhere that might be able to do a bit of ground dwelling. But uh, I think it's going to be the hammock, the hammock tonight. And it's, uh, it's a glorious day, about 16 degrees gonna be forecast for nine degrees overnight so yeah it should be should be a good one I'm gonna head up towards uh, Gunner's box have a look around up there first see if there's any suitable spots in that location and uh, and if not then head down towards Red Path and see what's there uh, but I'll bring you back when I get to Gunner's box well, we're just heading up towards the trig point now where Gunner's box is and uh, I'll just pan you around and show you the view. Spectacular view from up here. So you can see the trig points uh, just in the distance. Not very much of a marked path here, a bit uh, undulating and what have you. And as I say, we might see if we can get the drone up and uh, give you an aerial view of uh, give you an aerial view of uh, Gunner's box. It's quite a prominent uh, landmark. You know, it's quite it's distinctive, but it's easier to see it from the air. So. As I say, we'll we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that in a moment. At the trig point now. Well, this is Gunner's box. You can't really see much, but you can see just in here. This is the uh, the remains of the uh, the wall that was originally here. And uh, as I say, we'll we'll try and get the drone up now and give you a bit of footage from uh, from the drone right well tried to fly the drone there but too windy um i've got a bit of footage but i'm not sure what it's going to turn out like so if you see it you see it if you don't you don't so i'll bring you back shortly you're gonna have a wander down get out this wind and uh and have a have a bite to eat and, and maybe it's a brew so i'll uh, i'll bring you back shortly Well, this is going to be a whole world of pain. This, this is ankle-breaking ankle breaking country. And see, see all the, the tussocks on the ground. They're just big holes. And it's like that all the way down. And we've got to go about halfway down there. And then we'll cut off to the left. Which will uh, I'll take us back into the woods. And then we'll follow that round. Um, and hopefully we'll pick up a proper proper footpath I mean as I say this is this is a marked footpath on the ground but there's uh, nothing here at the minute um, so hopefully when we get into the woods it'll be there I'll bring you back right time to stop for a bite to eat and uh, we'll uh, head back down towards uh, Loff Hill I think we're gonna camp at Loff Hill there's a lake just opposite it and uh, that should give us a a supply of water for the night and uh, and a good hammocking spot as well so we're gonna end up walking right the way down there to the end and then turn right um, and that's where the, the location is so I'm gonna sit and have some something to eat and then uh, we'll plod along Yeah. 
yeah, uh, biscuits and squeezy cheese for, for lunch. Not a bad, uh, not a bad bit of food. Not really healthy, full of energy. finished and that loaded back up and then uh, we'll head out we'll head off now and uh, get to our camp location it's about four kilometers from here so Come along and we'll uh, we'll work together. I won't keep you on for long because uh, pretty much all these forest rides look exactly the same so I'll bring you back when I've got something a little bit more interesting to talk about. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. As you can see uh, there's a fair bit of felling around here. Uh, so if you watched other people's videos in the past uh, this was all full of trees. It's all been uh, thinned out. But then again I suppose it is. It is a harvest for somebody, so it, it, it's a crop, you know, it's the, they're obviously not going to be here forever. And uh, so looking into this bit, you can still see some trees down from the uh, storms last year. Nice views, getting a little bit cloudy now, it's looking a bit looming so we might get a bit of rain. But uh, well, I hope not, <laughs> hope it stays dry. Um, it'll be a nice night and uh, I mean it's in the forecast's looking for a clear night so I'm hoping to try and get some star lapse photography or night lapse photography. You know, because uh, this is pretty much a, a dark sky area so we should be able to get some good, good footage, hopefully. So. But we'll wait and see. We won't know until uh, till it gets dark. So, but this is a lovely, a lovely forest. There's, uh, there's miles and miles and miles of tracks, miles of forest. So I mean, anybody that's wanted to do any sort of bushcraft type of uh, camping, wild camping, there's plenty of spots in here. I mean, not that we're supposed to uh, wild camp in England, but. I think if you uh, you'd get away with it, you get lost in this area, you know. So it's, uh, I would recommend it, and I know lots of uh, lots of other YouTubers that'll do the same, you know. So get out and give it a try, you know. Just spectacular. Yeah, it's a bit of forest on the uh, the right as well. I think we're gonna set up camp for the night. It's opposite uh, a lake. So you can see the lake is just uh, just there, and this is the yeah uh, the forest here. So we're gonna set up in there, and at least we've got a water source. You know, I've only got a litre and a half of water left with us, so we we'll obviously need some fresh water. So. That'll be the best, uh, the best spot. I so say we'll just get in here and uh, see if we can find somewhere to uh, to hang the hammer. Bit of an opening there. Let's 
So yeah, yeah, have a look. Big old fungus. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll look it up. Colour of it looks like chicken of the woods, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So yeah, looks like somebody's had a fire and a fire fit in here already. Looks as good a spot as any though. Yeah, nice little fire pit and, and some wood. Yeah, looks good. Good little gap there for the hammock. Yeah, I think we could do all right here. Right, well, I'll uh, I'll get some kit off and uh, catch my breath, and then uh, I'll bring you back when we uh, start stringing the hammock. Right, we'll get this set up now. Get the hammock up and what have you. on this one.
Jeff. Well, that's everything set up now. I'll put my bed and what have you in later on. Right, time for brew, I think. Time for brew, not having a fire until later. I'll just get the, uh, I'll get the little bush box stove on.
he's ready. Well, I'm going to leave you to a time lapse of the uh, the sun going down, and uh, then I'm going to get myself something to eat and then get myself to bed. Great, right? We'll get some uh, a fire going and get some tea done. The sun's gone down now; it's starting to get a bit cool as well. So I'm just using the bush box because I'm in the forest, and it's a pine forest. There's lots and lots of um, pine needles everywhere so there's been an old fire pit here and I'm just going to use that um, with the bush box so see if we can get that uh, that going and just uh, get a bit of tinder out having a fire pot uh, meal tonight just a boil in the bag job uh, chili con carne And uh, 10 minutes, we'll just hot box it with it on the top just to keep that uh, heat in. And about, uh, 10 minutes, and then uh, be time for a uh, for grub. Fire 
that is stoked with a bit of the heat coming out of it. Yeah, I've had quite a lot of rain recently, so I don't mind having a little fire on. on there's like a big rock here, and uh, just having a little fire, nothing big. And uh, it'll be out before I go to bed, just so I, uh, I know that there's going to be no issues during the night. But uh, the ground's still quite wet, so you just got to remember that when, uh, when you're having a fire in the forest, just... Uh, if in doubt, don't have one, you know. Mm. Right. Try this chilli. Mm. Yeah, not bad food, though. Yeah. There are them fire pot meals. Some of them, some of them are a bit like, iffy, but it's, the chilli ones are good, the curry ones are good. Pasta bolognese is good. Real termite are the better ones, like, I must admit. Tastes a lot nicer. But I'm going to have this. And then I'm going to get my, uh, my head down for the night. And see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully it's a bit of a less windy day tomorrow and I can get a bit of drone flying done. But we'll, we'll see, we'll just see what tomorrow brings. I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky at the minute. It looks, it looks pretty clear. I'm hoping that it's going to be a nice day. Anyway, I want to see you guys soon. I'm going to go and finish my dinner. All right, guys, I'm going to get my head down for the night now. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Good night now. <sighs> morning people. Well, that was a good night's sleep. Lovely morning. Slept all slept all night, slept tight as a Snug as a bug in a rug. So, time to get up, get a brew on. I needed. Can't beat a fresh coffee first thing in the morning. And I usually need about 10 to get me away. <laughs> mm. So, breakfast is just the, uh, the usual uh, fried kartoffel and boil in the bag job. And uh, have that, and then I'll get myself packed up and we'll get, so get away on the trail again.
probably. Mm. It's like potatoes, bacon, onions, bit of egg. And uh, it's obviously all being fried and then put in a vacuum pack bag. Now um, these come in the German army rations for breakfasts. A bit smaller than this one. Um, but you can get these from uh, home bargains, like 80 pence for a packet and there's more than enough. Believe it or not, if you did two sausages and and uh, after packet with a, a buddy, um, there's more than enough in there. I didn't have a, uh, a big fire last night because the location I'm at right now, not far from the track, and there's a house about um, a kilometre behind us. and. Uh, just don't want to draw attention to myself so I didn't bother having a big fire or anything just a little bush box fire um, hence that's why I just do the boil in the bag and once I'm back to my uh, my bushcraft camp um, we'll have a fire there but the weather's going to start uh, getting colder and I'm going to need a fire on a night so yeah I'll uh, I'll take you back there. Unfortunately, with this channel being so new, you won't see um, a lot of the build that I've done so far. But you'll get the picture. There's a lot more to do anyway, so every time I go up there and do a bit of work, I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys along. me guys all packed away squared away ready to go i'll uh, 
come back to you along the way and uh, we'll say our goodbyes at the end. If you've watched the video so far, uh, thank you for staying on. And uh, if you've got any comments and suggestions on how to make my videos better, then please uh, hit the comments, you know. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. Because obviously I want to ultimately try and bring you the best content possible. And uh, the only way I can do that is if people give us constructive criticism to, be to, uh, to make the video better. So... Yeah, that'd be great and alternatively like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i'll bring you back shortly when we get to red path all right just from this corner is um red path in the harwood forest is a uh, disused farmhouse but it looks like it could be a good a good place for a renovation so pan is round and you can see as we come into this And this uh, this track is uh, part of St Oswald's Way, which cuts through Harwood Forest. Um, so it's a good little spot for uh, coming just for day walks. You know, a little couple of hour walks with with the family or with a dog. You know, and then uh, as I say, you come across like the old the old farmhouse like this. That's just uh, it's derelict, but uh, it's certainly within within repair. I wouldn't want to live here in the absolute middle of nowhere. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the view. You, know, you don't see a soul inside. You know, get the odd walker coming through, and the odd car that goes up to um, the farm further up. But uh, other than that, there's nothing here. You know, and that would make a really nice house. So I'm gonna stop here, get me top off because it's uh, quite warm. Get some fluids on board, and then we'll uh, we'll head on. <laughs> 